In the last video that we put out, we talked about the emergency appendix, append appendectomy that I had. And I said that I actually was not able to do, to, to speak at the Thrive Life Convention like I was supposed to because of the surgery. And several of you asked if you are going to get to hear the training that I did. Well, I didn't do the training. <laughs> But at any rate, I did do something and you're going to be able to hear at least a part of it. Yeah. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth. Live simple. Live free. And we went out there to the convention and there were two things that I was supposed to do. One was to, tr to teach a training uh, class. They had breakout uh, work, uh, what do you call them? breakout sessions, I guess. Different workshops. Workshops, thank you. Um, and I was going to teach one of those workshops. It was a 45 minute class. And I'm not going to share that with you because it was, it's all business stuff, talking to Thrive Consultants about how to build their business. I wasn't able to do it there, but I'm actually going to be doing it tomorrow on the Thrive Life Consultant Facebook group page. I'll do a live uh, training there for 45 minutes. Now, the other thing that I was supposed to do, and Elizabeth didn't know about this. No, I did not know. Saturday evening, they had an awards banquet. It was a semi-formal type affair. And every year at the awards banquet, they give out two awards. And one of them is called the Thriving Life Achievement Award. And we won that last year. I absolutely cried. I had no idea. Yeah, it was a total surprise. It was pretty amazing. So <laughs> this year for the award... I was supposed to go up and say something as last year's recipient and then introduce the new uh, award winner. And it wasn't a big long thing. It was just a little three minute speech, a motivational speech that I had worked on very hard to memorize and I was really excited about it. And I wasn't able to do it. And like I said, Elizabeth didn't even know about it. I was just mm -hmm. gonna go up and start speaking this so we're sitting in the hospital and I told her and, and you know that there was something that I was supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, I um I had no idea it was gonna be a complete surprise to me too. And he had worked really hard and like memorized this whole thing. And um so he had told me about it and then we were just sitting there um waiting, you know, trying to find out when the surgeon was gonna come in and all that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden he just looked at me and he started speaking this thing. I wanted at and, least her to hear it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he really wanted me to hear it. He'd worked really hard to have this all ready. And it, it, I had absolute tears in my eyes. And I about halfway through, I hated to throw him, but halfway through, I said, honey, I'm going to go get my phone. She totally interrupted me. <laughs> I did. <laughs> totally just, threw me off my game. Sorry. <laughs> but um, before he, I didn't know how long it was going to be. And I was so blown away that... I went over and I got my phone and I said, honey, let's, I want to record this. I really want to have this recorded. And so I just stood there trying to hold it as steady as I could. It was just the two of us in the room, try to hold as steady as I could. And he, he would try, but you know, he was in a lot of pain. And by this point on morphine and, um, he would suddenly get thrown off and not, you know, lose, lose track of it. And so I said, that's fine. You know, and, first and, time I did it. I was looking right at her and I was intent on having her hear this thing. I was on a roll. I was nailing it. And she interrupted me to get her camera. And that threw me off. And then from that point on, I wasn't thinking about doing it for her. I was thinking about doing it for the camera for the people at the convention. Right. So he could still share it at the convention. Because we were still going to try to share it. And like she said, I was in a lot of pain several hours before the surgery. I was doped up on morphine. I was having a hard time concentrating. And I bet we tried 10 times. And I just finally gave up. I, I knew that I, I was not trying to push him. He kept trying. And I knew he was going to start getting really discouraged. And I didn't know how much the medication was making it hard. So finally, I just, I just took a deep breath. And I really meant this when I said it. I said, honey, let's, what, we don't need to send it to, to anybody there at the convention. But I would love to have a recording of this because I think it's beautiful. And so, can you just do it just for me? And he was pretty discouraged, but I, I held up my phone and all of a sudden he just locked in. I mean, 
I know that I was looking at the camera, but he was looking so strongly into the camera that I felt like he was looking at me. And I stood there trying not to shake, trying to hold as steady as I could, tears pouring down my face. And he began at the beginning and he nailed it all the way to the end. I was, I was so pleased to have that recorded. And when, when he knew he did an excellent job, then I told him, I said, do you think that maybe we could go ahead and send this? Because I had tried to take the pressure off. You know, I would have loved to have it just for me. And he said, yeah, he think, thought that would be fine. So I sent a little message in to the lady who was coordinating everything. And I said, you know, Bill, Bill would really still like to share this if that's okay. So I wanted to get it for you. And so I sent it to her and we get a message back and she says, I'm in tears, you know. So anyway, I was so thrilled that we got this recording. I just, I, just, I wanted him to be able to still share it. Yeah, so we'll show you that recording in a minute. But uh, so we sent it and they showed it and I didn't hear anything about the response. I just knew that they had shown it. And he, he was glad he got to share it. It was just yeah. very different coming from a evidently busy hospital bed. There's stuff blinking all over and, you but know. Apparently, you know, in Thrive Life, I'm known as the video guy. Because oh. everything I do, not only on YouTube, but everything I do for Thrive is in training and all that. I do videos about all of it. Yeah. So Eric Morgan, the president, was introducing me. And of course, I wasn't there. And he said, you know, as the previous recipient of the Thriving uh, Life Achievement Award, Bill was supposed to be here, but he couldn't because he's in surgery. And then he said, apparently he said, so guess what he did? And then he was just silent and he looked at everybody. And all of a sudden somebody dawned, it dawned on her and they said, he did a video. People got going, he did a video. <laughs> so yes, I did a video. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead now and show you that video done from the hospital bed full of morphine. <laughs> If you want to have a successful Thrive Life business or be successful in anything in life, really, there are certain things you must do. Set goals. That's important. But once you set goals, you have to actually do something to achieve those goals. Success is in the doing. And so I want to talk about radical doing today. You see, in any instance, the thing that keeps you from achieving something, anything really, is your unwillingness to do things. Getting started, taking action, ditching bad habits, moving beyond your comfort zone. You must become someone previously unknown to you. Someone who, well, let's call that person a tyrant of radical action, of radical doing. You are now a strong, determined, talented individual who will not stop in mere exhaustion or setback of goals and agenda. Someone who laughs at physical pain and lets emotional stress roll off your brow like sweat. You No longer will you contemplate your future like some privileged academic sitting in a classroom of spectators. No, yours is a world of reality and action where the, the doing is done by your own hands and feet and blood and sweat towards a goal that is as alive as the heart that beats in your chest and pounds like a drum toward the reward that you have earned fair and square. And by the grace of God, you will take that path and find solace in the taste of freedom that comes from a job well done, a mission accomplished, a mountain climbed. After all, you did it. And that, my friends, is the power of radical doing. I think you can understand um, why that just, it touched me so much. I was really proud of him. <laughs> it was a message, a, a motivational message that I really wanted to get out. And I'm so glad that I was actually able to do that. Yep. So we sent it off and we knew that they watched it, but we didn't have any idea of what kind of reaction there was. And uh, we talked to Sandy, the woman that we sent it to, and, you know, was it shown? Yes, it was shown. It was really good. Okay. So what does that mean? <laughs> well, I mean... Well, apparently there were there were not many dry eyes in the house. Partly... Certainly mine were boring. Partly because of what I said, but partly because I was in the hospital bed when I said it. <laughs> 
But then uh, one of my team members had actually recorded a part of it on her phone. So she sent me uh, what she recorded and watched the reaction at the end. It was pretty amazing. And sweat towards a goal that is as alive as the heart that beats in your chest and pounds like a drum toward the reward that you have earned fair and square. And by the grace of God, you will take that path and find solace in the taste of freedom that comes from a job well done, a mission accomplished, a mountain climbed. After all, you did it. And that, my friends, is the power of radical doing. So that was a pretty amazing response, and we were, I was so, personally, I was so excited to see that response, and then Eric Morgan says, well, he should, what is it? he should be sick more often. Oh, yeah, he should be, he should be in the hospital more, more often. More often, something. <laughs> we love Eric. He is so cool. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> we, and, we were just glad people really appreciated yeah. it. <laughs> so, anyway, I wanted to give credit where credit is due and tell you that I didn't write that. That was actually no. written by a woman named Brooke Whipple. And she was a contestant on the TV show Alone in season four and five. And she has an Instagram account that I'm that I follow. And she on Instagram she is a girl in the woods. And she actually did it. And she said that she did it on her Instagram. And she said that that is a a portion of a book that she's in the process of writing. And I was so impressed with it. I listened to it a dozen times before I realized, hey, I need to do this. So I. You know, listen to one line and wrote it down, listen to the next line and wrote it down. And then I modified it a little bit just to make it more appropriate for Thrive Life, but it was hers, Brooke yes. Whipple. So I want to be sure to completely give her credit for that. Yeah. He, Especially at the beginning, he added a little bit to make it make sense, but yeah, it, it I, was I, her thing. I added like four lines before what she wrote, and then I added just a word here and there, but it's her thing. And I, yes. It just touched me, and it apparently really touched everybody at the company as well. Yeah, I found it to be wonderful. We really want to give her credit. That is, it's really quite wonderful. Um, so I wasn't able to give my training there, but I will be giving it on Facebook Live uh, tomorrow. And uh, I was able to do my motivational bit, and I'm so happy about that because I was very excited about it. Yeah. So that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Um, I wanted you guys to get to see that, and I want you to know I. It was, I, I was working so hard to not let my hands tremble, my arms got so tired, but boy, I held that phone because I just had tears pouring down my face watching him do that, and I was just so grateful we got it. Yeah. Thanks for hanging in there, hon. Absolutely. So, so thanks for watching. Live simple. Live free. <coughs> Ooh, <coughs> does coughing still <coughs> hurt? No. Wow, that's excellent. I just coughed, it doesn't hurt my belly. That's excellent. <laughs> anyway. You be blessed because we certainly are, and we yeah. wish that for you as well. Absolutely. All right, we love you guys. We'll see you soon. Boy, that was better than the first time. You should have seen the first time he coughed after he had the surgery. Oh, All right. goodness. All right. We love you guys. <laughs> bye bye. It takes the freedom that comes from a job well done, a mission accomplished, a mountain climbed. After all, you did it. And that, my friends, is the power of radical doing.